following UW360 story is made possible by the generous support of UW Medicine Neurosciences Institute, a leader in providing expert care for neurological conditions, discovering novel treatments, and spearheading education of future clinicians. More at uwmedicine.org forward slash NSI. <laughs> you know, I'm a high energy person, and then these would start to, the seizures would hit. They're very brief, but then the impact I'm suddenly exhausted, and, and exhausted in a way like you've just run a marathon. Michael Fox was healthy, active, and a successful professional when he was diagnosed with epilepsy. And I'm, I fought through so many different things in my life, and this one, you can't do anything. As his marketing job became more demanding, the seizures increased. That I would have as many as 15 seizures in a single day after 15 seizures in that one day, I, hadn't, I didn't have the energy really to lift a, a, a cup of water to my mouth. At that time, we had a two-year-old and a four-year-old. To watch them watch daddy have a seizure, and that this, that panic in their face, like, what is happening? One of the worst things about epilepsy is you never know when the seizure is gonna happen. It's always hanging over their head. Am I gonna have a seizure? What's, how's that gonna affect my life? And so I, I think the fear of having a seizure never totally goes away from people. We knew that the medicine wasn't working, surgery was an option, but brain surgery it just sounds incredibly intimidating. My seizures were increasing to a point because each seizure causes damage. And as it increased, I, I got to the point of having grand mal seizures. I stopped breathing during them. So the point was, at some point, one of my seizures is going to cut off breath to the point where I'm going to die. The seizures terrified Michael, his wife Wendy, and their six children. He was referred to the UW Medicine Neurosciences Institute Regional Epilepsy Center. The treatments vary for those patients. Sometimes it's, it's medication, sometimes it's different medications that's not, that aren't widely available. Sometimes it's devices, and sometimes it's brain surgery. One of the things that uh, both a physician and a patient uh, get when they're working with the UW Medicine Neurosciences Institute and of the Regional Epilepsy Center is that whole team. So it's not just the parts of the team, but the interaction and the fact that we're all uh, thinking about the patient and not just our pieces of the puzzle. Here it was a partnership. We want to know where you're at, what your needs are, and if we're communicating effectively. Michael's healthcare team was able to identify the source of his seizures. You know, this is a, a, a very exciting time in medicine. We have had the benefit of new imaging tools, uh, new technologies like the laser ablation. Uh, we have a, uh, the Rosa robotic device that allows us to place and slide in a very thin laser and then heat uh, the lesion. Uh, while watching the temperature in the MRI scan. And so these engineering advances and imaging advances have allowed us to give very targeted uh, therapies. I think they went in right there. And there's not a mark, there's not a place, nothing, nothing at all in there. My goal is to get, have patients get their life back because seizures have such a profound effect on people's life. After fully recuperating, I do drive. I have time with my kids. Yesterday, I just finished re-roofing our, our 1,850 square foot house. And that's just uh, one of the many things that I've been able to do. This is a unquestionable, world-class facility. And I felt like royalty, I was so well cared for. So I think we've got all the time in the world to do this. <laughs> <laughs>